So let's talk about a classroom library. What a big job to organize. I know that I organize my classroom library each summer and each summer I go through and I make sure I don't have any books I need to throw away or I need to donate or I just simply need to kind of pare down. So this is my classroom library. Now I had a wonderful teacher that was in my classroom before me that left me some great um, baskets, but you can always go to the dollar store or any any um, big box store and find one dollar baskets. And so baskets shouldn't be a difficult thing to find, but what I find challenging is the way that we organize these books. So in my classroom, I have a label um, and I label them by numbers, one through I think I have 35 book boxes, but I know other teachers that have 60 book boxes. So it's just how you label them and how you want to number them. Now, in my room, I have several that, that say level one, level two, level three. I have some that say bears and animals, home and school, outside. I have some that are um, a Mo Willems box and a Dr. Seuss box. So this particular book, I wanna show you, um, on the back of it, I have placed stickers on the back and I just have a, a number two because that's this book goes in the books box too. On the inside of it, I also have taken the time to go through and on a website called AR Book Find, you can find the AR level of a book. You can also find the Lexi level on that book, on that website as well. AR 1.2, so this is a, a, a first grade book, and I also put the AR number there. So my kids, instead of having to type in this big title, they can just type in this number rather um, when they're taking an AR test. So if you have an AR system at your school, this might be a good solution for you. It initially takes a long time. I had a parent that would take a book box home every single day with her and bring it back and she would have it um, labeled for me and brought it back. What a big gift um, that parents can be in your classroom. So libraries look all different in elementary classrooms. This is just one way that you can do it. Um, try this in your classroom today.